on the brink of their semi-final with Somerset, who are led by the South African Graham Smith and include Marcus Truscothic. But it's Graham Smith and Matthew Wood who come out to bat first. Smith won the toss, the pitch was an absolute belter, and he needn't practice that too often. It's the Mo that will be employed today. Nicely tucked away by Graham Smith, the first boundary for Somerset. Well, that's nearly taken Charles Willoughby's ankle away with it, that off drive from Graham Smith. Down the wicket from Graham Smith, flayed past mid on a half stop, but not significant enough to stop the boundary. Nice shot, trying for the Yorker, Charles Willoughby, got it wrong. Matthew Wood took full advantage. That's big. At last, Graham Smith has really latched onto one. That's an amazing catch. Incredible. He managed to soar into the air and almost hang in the air. Michael Jordan, the great basketball player, would have been proud of that hang time. And Graham Smith has gone. He didn't get hold of it at all. He missed time most of his uh, shots out there. He knew he was in trouble, but thought it just had enough to eke over the fieldsman head. Yeehaw! <laughs> Timing. Absolutely superb. Gothic unleashing just a little bit. It's been a conservative start. Now the big one. And he gets hold of it. Oh, that is a good shot. Halfway mark for Somerset. 85 for one. And uh, right now they've got things going, but early on it was fairly conservative. Triscothic in particular was only worried about singles, but now he's starting to unleash. Should be out, it's well bowled. Oh no, can you believe it? Dear, dear, dear. Dinesh Monge, overseas player for Leicestershire, has dropped an absolute dot. <laughs> it's a shambolic piece of cricket, really. And it's out. Second wicket goes down for Somerset. Matthew Wood has gone for 38. 89 for two. Delicately played from Trescotti. The catch. Dinesh Monga needed that. And a very smart catch by Hilton Ackerman. It was hit hard by Trescothic, straight to extra cover. And a key wicket for Leicestershire because Trescothic, extremely dangerous in this form of the game. He's gone for 25, 98 for three. Oh! Hold him round his legs. Really good piece of bowling from Jeremy Snape. And another danger man to go. The big hitting Ian Blackwell. Moved across his stumps too far and exposed his leg stump. And Snape strikes. Blackwell gone for 198 for four. Just shy of the boundary rope. First runs for 11 balls. Brilliant. Well, Dinesh Mongia is happy to catch them off his own bowling. This was a fantastic catch. And brings to an end 
The innings of James Hildreth, Somerset in some kind of trouble now. 102 for five. Bowling, yeah! brilliant bowling from Jeremy Snape. And brings to an end a wonderful spell of off-spin bowling, proving that spinners can be effective in 2020 cricket. By smart use of variations of pace and line, this has been a truly outstanding spell. Four overs, two for 18 now. And finishing with the wicket of Keith Parsons with a quicker ball. He's gone for seven, 111 for six. That's a good strike. Catch it. Should be out, is out. Wesley Durston falling to Dinesh Mongi's clever variations in pace. And James Allenby, the catcher. Wesley Durston, a useful contribution of 19, 139 for seven. Give me your man. Well done. Take him off. That should be out. Direct hit from Otis Gibson. And a direct hit, usually good enough at this stage of proceedings. Terrific stuff, Otis Gibson. A Barbadian of note doing the business. And uh, the Indian cricketer, Mongia. The bowler causing the grief. And Richard Johnson, no score, 140 for it. That's a firm old strike. Is there a sting in this tail? Brilliant. If he ever is able to do that intentionally, he was bottling. That is a lovely catch. Claude Henderson, the South African, he got his skates on in the first instance, then he steadied himself, and then he finished the job. 57 for nine at the end of it all then, so uh, at least a sniff. Some bright new faces in that Somerset team, but it was one or two better known ones who did the work at the top of the order. 157 for nine. Is it a bright enough score against a team so competent in this cricket as the Leicester Foxes? Everybody did their bit with the ball, though Jeremy Snape with his off spin, two for 18, was top class. Leicester then need 158 if they're to win it. a brilliant bit of timing. Oh, yes. Four more. Oh, I say that's a super shot. So clever. Oh, clipped away, a shovel shot. That's a nice authentic shot from H.D. Ackerman. A change of pace from Somerset, the spin of Ian Blackwell. Goes the same way off the bat of Darren Manning. Wherever he hits it, the fielders aren't, Maddie. Need about 15 of them at the moment. 50 of only 27 balls. Brilliant effort. Oh, that is out. At last, Somerset have got a breakthrough. It's Ian Blackwell who's done it, going round the wicket. A bit of spin there. Neat work by the keeper, Gazard. And the Leicester captain, H.D. Ackerman, has gone. 74 for one now, Leicestershire, but still in the pound seats. Oh. 
Slashed away first ball by Dinesh Mongia. No sighters for him. The run spree continues. That's very, very high. And Triscothic has caught it easily, as if he was taking catching practice before the game. Big bucket-like hands gobbling that chance from Dinesh Mongia. And his target of hitting the ball over the pavilion has failed. Mongia gone for 12. Leicestershire just stumbling, 88 for two. That's well bowled. Ian Blackwell doing the stuff here for Somerset, finding just a little bit of spin. Certainly too much spin for Maddie in that instance. And Maddie, the real danger man, almost could be described as a 2020 specialist these days for Leicestershire. And he's gone now. Very fine. Direct hit, not for the first time today. Brilliant piece of fielding. And this must be very, very close indeed. I've got my money on being out. Just because he's got there quickly, he's balanced, he gets it away quickly, more to the point. Just out, I reckon. Wonderful fielding from Cal Gazard. And Somerset, all of a sudden, are right back in this game. 98 for 4, Leicestershire. Given some width, it wasn't a particularly good delivery. That'll be four runs, another one of these streaky outside edges that run fine. The four overs remaining, and Leicester need 38 runs for victory. It really is in the balance for them. Somerset have come back into this match simply through that spell from Ian Blackwell. Is it going to carry? Yes, it does. Blackwell in the action yet again. We always expect those to be taken, but let's not forget, this is a semi-final stuff. There's always pressure on. Leicester are struggling just slightly now. The run rate creeping up, and more wickets are falling. It's 120 for five. There is a man in the deep, Tress Gothic. Whoa, they're catching well, right when it matters. Now the sixth wicket falls, and they still require 34 runs. What a shot that is, it's six, it's gone all the way. 22 required from 10. Oh, that's straight down the ground, is it going to get there? It does, four runs, four valuable runs. 18 off nine balls. And bowled him. A little unlucky. Gibson, it ricocheted off uh, the inside edge, back onto the pad, then the stumps. Big wicket this for Richard Johnson and Somerset. Otis Gibson can hit a long ball. And another one, he's on a hat-trick. Johnson, the destroyer. What a turnover. What a game of cricket. 153 for eight at the end of it, Leicestershire. And they were short of the required amount. It was a good performance from Ian Blackwell. Three for 25 with his slow left arm.